Typhoid fever is a serious bacterial disease that affects more than 12 million people a year. It is mostly found in developing countries and endemics have occurred in areas including Africa, Southeast Asia, South America, and the Caribbean. It is most commonly found in developing countries as they often do not have an adequate sanitation system yet. You can become infected by eating or drinking food or water contaminated by sewage with S. typhi bacteria, traveling to areas where typhoid is a threat, or coming in contact with someone with typhoid fever or someone who has recently had typhoid fever. S. typhi bacteria lives only in humans and travels through the bloodstream and digestive system. Even if the symptoms of typhoid have gone away, a person can still carry the bacteria. Coming in contact with people who carry the bacteria can get you sick even if they do not appear to be ill. Typhoid is easily prevented and frequent hand washing is the easiest way. It is important also to avoid risky food and drink, especially if traveling. Drink only bottled water and clean food before you eat it. It is best to avoid raw foods such as fruits and vegetables and avoid street vendors as the food may not be clean. If you are traveling, it is crucial to be vaccinated against typhoid. A vaccine will prevent you from becoming ill. Typhoid has three stages illness. As the stages progress, the disease gets more serious. The first stage symptoms include high fever, fatigue, abdominal pain, headaches, and mild diarrhea or constipation, and a rosy rash. In the second stage, common symptoms include a continuous high fever, severe constipation or diarrhea, weight loss, and a very distended abdomen. These symptoms continue into the third week, along with deliriousness and the typhoid state, which is a state of lifelessness and exhaustion with the eyes half closed. Usually by the fourth week of illness, the fever weakens and the symptoms slowly disappear. Very rare but life-threatening symptoms include intestinal bleeding, intestinal perforation, pancreati pancreatitis, spine, kidney, and bladder infection, and infl inflammation of the heart muscles. Any of these symptoms, it is very important to see a doctor immediately, even if you are in a foreign country. A doctor can usually tell you if you have typhoid fever just by the symptoms, but tests are done to confirm the presence of the S. typhi bacteria. The most common tests are body fluid cultures and antibody tests. If you are diagnosed with with typhoid, the most effective treatment is antibiotics. Ciprofloxacin is the most common drug prescribed in the U.S., but there are others including ampicillin and trimethoprim solmethoxyl. The only problem with these antibiotics is that the S. typhi bacteria are becoming resistant to these drugs over time. Ampicillin is rarely used anymore because of this problem, along with chloromethanosil and trimethoprim solmethoxyl. It is a drug that was invented by Bayer. This drug is currently sold around the world. It fights bacteria in the body and is used to treat multiple bacterial infections. In many countries, it is available at regular stores, but the problem is that many people who need it cannot afford to buy the drug in the doses required to cure their ailments. Bayer is a pharmaceutical company that was founded in Germany and is currently the world's third largest pharmaceutical company. Bayer has invented and produced many well-known products such as aspirin, heroin, and the infamous mustard gas. In 2005, Bayer employed over 33,800 people worldwide and generated more than $9.4 billion in sales. Bayer is regularly donating drugs such as ciprofloxacin to organizations across the world. One of their most recent donations was to MAP, Medical Assistance Programs International, and their donation of ciprofloxacin was worth over $25 million U.S. dollars. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation is also helping by giving grants to vaccinate people against typhoid fever and provide medicine to the ill. However, the donations alone are not enough to eliminate typhoid, as many countries are not taking preventative measures to stop people from inducing typhoid. The Dominican Republic is one of the countries currently suffering from typhoid endemics. The Dominican Republic is a nation located on the island of Hispaniola. It shares a border with Haiti, another country suffering from typhoid. While the Dominican Republic is more wealthy than many of the other countries nearby, it is still a developing country when compared to the other countries in the rest of the world. It is the second largest island nation in the Caribbean and is estimated to have a population of 9.5 million people. The government has been trying to stop the spread of diseases such as typhoid and have managed to lower the amount of people affected each year. The main groups of people infected with typhoid live in the rural areas of the country where sanitation is poor and contaminated drinking water is abundant. In the future, hopefully we can eliminate typhoid fever altogether by improving sanitation systems in developing nations and providing vaccines for all who are in danger of becoming ill. We can help now by donating more medicines to those in need and helping developing countries build proper sanitation systems. We can also educate both adults and children about the spread of communicable diseases like typhoid so we can prevent typhoid from infecting more people. Typhoid is still a serious disease that needs to be addressed and we need to continue to eliminate typhoid infections across the globe.